All right, we are live. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm going to wait for a few people to come in, and I'm going to keep peeking to see. Okay, I can see kind of the bottom a little bit. Awesome. <laughs> so I'll wait just for a second to see if people want to jump on here and chat with me today. And I know my title of this was kind of vague or whatever, but I wanted to keep it that way because there's more to, there's so much to talk about. Um, and I'm talking this week on toxicity, um, detoxing, and especially my focus is digestion and um, reproductive system and our reproductive organs. And <clears throat> one of the main things that I've been longing to talk about is why our reproductive organs, our vital organs, are the targets of a lot of toxins within our environment. Now, I have my own reasons, and there are so many very deep and um, complex reasons why. I'm going to reveal to you two reasons why, and then I'm going to um, talk a little bit about what we can do, okay? So, <clears throat> if you're new to me and my page, yourbeautyandbloom.com, I'm Jennifer Hutchison Taylor. I am a certified clinical master herbalist. I am a physiologist, doula Reiki practitioner, and I help women to rediscover their true feminine beauty through nutrition, through herbs, of course, and through mindfulness, okay, mindfulness as well. And so, um, welcome to my page, welcome to my home. <laughs> um, and today, we're going to have a little chat, and I hope that you will share, share, share this broadcast, whether you're watching it live or whether you're watching it on the replay share this broadcast. All you have to do is click the little share button down, I think it's the bottom left, if you're looking on an iPhone, I guess. Um, share this broadcast with your friends on your page, on your business page, on your profile page, even in groups, okay? Even if it's not a group about health and wellness, just share this page because there'll be, there'll be some things in here that I think will be very, very beneficial to you and to people that you you know, may not even know. So share it to your groups, even if they're not health and wellness groups. Share, share, share. Um, put this information out there. It's not just for me to get views or whatever. I don't care about that stuff. I care about really sharing information that's going to be transformational to your life. And um, this is a very, very important topic because not only is what I'm going to be talking about, you know, I if you know me, you know that I can go very scientific and very deep. However, these are some things that you can actually do. It's a scientifically um, rich topic, but it's, it's things that um, don't have to be hard to change in your life in order to um, help to detox and cleanse your system and your body. So, um, hey, <laughs> um, I can't really see all that. Uh, I see a bunch of stuff. I see somebody's in the house. <laughs> Um, but these are things that you can do actually in your own home, in your own space, in your own life to make it more um, holistic and more healthy. And that's all that I wish to do and um, provide for you is the, the resources that you need to do this. And it's coming from expert like me, instead of just going through all these different things online, I'm telling you exactly what you can do and what's the most effective. And I try to keep it short and sweet and simple for you um, today, okay? So like I said, share, share, share. All right. So this weekend was really was really eye opening for me because there was a week in long symposium called "The Truth About Cancer," and it was the most one of the most powerful talks ever. There were forty very um, high profile natural holistic doctors that. Um, came and just spoke the truth oh my gosh it was just so powerful and i had so much work to do this weekend um preparing for my course and preparing to talk with clients and stuff but i just had to take time and listen to it because it was really profound um the truth about cancer symposium you can still i think look at it watch it um so really check that out but it inspired me to continue to spread what I had been spreading and talking about on my radio show, the Herbal Intellect Show, and spreading the, the word about natural healing that is possible, okay, that is possible. Continue to also debunk everything, debunk what, you know, government has been telling you to debunk this whole issue of vaccines, to debunk um, 
Monsanto and GMO foods and you know spraying dan like the thing that they kill the most is our dandelion it's like that dandelions are one of our most easily accessible medicinal herbs that you can find that grows in any and everywhere and that's the main thing that people try to kill why is that it's not for that's not a, a coincidence so stuff like that okay is what I've been talking about for years now and this talk or this symposium really reconfirmed that I'm on the right track. I don't believe in coincidences and um, you know my purpose is you know I left the pharmaceutical industry. I left the lab. Doesn't mean that I won't go um, back to a different type of lab, a natural healing lab, but I left the lab, I left the pharmaceutical industry to pursue my calling which is to help women to rediscover natural ways to heal themselves. And that's it. Very clear and simple, right? Natural ways to, redis to rediscover this. And I say rediscover this because it's just been lost, it's been hidden, it's um, obscure, it's occult now, okay? These types of things that you can do. Um, it's kind of strange to some people now because they've gone generation into, after generation with, without knowing about some things that are very simple that your great-great-grandmother did or whatever your ancestors um, did and, and, and were able to sustain their life much longer with, you know, disease free. Um, <clears throat> and so this, what I try to get people to understand is that the seed of change is within you, is there. It's just been hidden, it hasn't been watered, it hasn't seen the sunlight, it hasn't um, been nurtured by you, but that can change until now, okay, until now. and. If you don't work with me, if you don't ever watch any of my videos, if you don't come back to my Facebook page ever again, I still want you to understand that. Okay, take that with you no matter what. Um, detoxing. <laughs> there are so many different detoxes in there, uh, or out there in the world. Um, and probably over a hundred, over a hundred, or you know, hundreds. I mean, of of these detox plans and different ones and different things out there. Um, and it's a good reason that they are out there, right? Detoxing is good and beneficial, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little bit of, of why that is. But do you know why you're detoxing? That is the key. I think that is the lost key that we need to unlock within ourselves. Is do you know why you're detoxing? You just, you know, I talk to so many women on Facebook in particular, because I'm on here more often on the other than other social media. And people have come, you know, booked calls with me, come to me, sent me messages, talk with me, and I love every single person that I talk with, and and that is what warms my heart. I posted a few weeks ago that that is what is grat that's gratitude for me, is that they're seeing something within me, and I love that and I appreciate that. And I'm not throwing them under the bus or anything, but I've noticed that. They kind of sound like a infomercial when they talk about their health because they're saying things that they have heard instead of understanding exactly what's going on within, within, within their body. And that's not their fault. I don't blame them. I blame the big business pharmaceutical companies, the big business um, you know, hospitals, the big business uh, media. I blame that more so than anything. And you know, when I say the infomercial, because they don't know why they need a detox. They just know they need. To, I need. I need to get a detox tea. I need to get an herbal detox tea from you. Well, why? What's going on with you? Well, um, I don't feel like I'm. You know, um, I don't really know. I just know that I need a detox. My stomach feels bloated. That could be a million things. You could have a hernia. You know, and so we have to start to understand really why. And I think that's why I want to bring this information because we're not understanding, you know, how to tune into our bodies to to know and understand really what's going on. Okay, really what's going on. And so that anything that we start to put into our lives, any new habit that we start to take on within our healthy lifestyle journey will be more effective. I hope that makes sense. Give me some thumbs up if that makes sense. Um... You know what I'm, what I'm saying here. So, and one other thing too. <laughs> a lot of people believe that herbalists are people who send thanks, um, who send um, or who sell marijuana, or who um, just sell Herbalife products. <laughs> it's not the case, and I don't blame anyone. I'm telling y'all. You know, 
I put I post things on Facebook or I post things whatever about this is how this is, this is the society that we live in. It's no one's fault in particular. I love everyone, but what the the habits that people get in are because they're exposed to this type of environment, and what they're exposed to is what they take in. And until you start to block that exposure, until you start to remove that exposure from your life, then you're going to continue to take in that, and that's what you're going to continue to think and believe. Okay, so I'm going to get on here now. Um, so I want to talk to you about detoxing. <clears throat> and this is not herbal detox, it's not a tea detox. <laughs> okay, why are the reproductive organs the target of um, building up pollutants or toxification in the body that can lead to cancer? Okay, that can lead to cancer, that can lead to fibroids, that can lead to a lot of different things. Why the reproductive organs? For example, we're going to take the reproductive organs. The top four are um, lung, breast, prostate, um, lung, breast, prostate, and colorectal. Colorectal cancers. Okay, those are the top four types of cancers. Let's just take the reproductive organs because the lungs, mostly the lung cancer comes from smoking. Okay, because that's just like that. You're going to have cancer nine times out of ten um, with, with, with smoking or some other terrible disease. So, um, but, the, but the reproductive organs is interesting. Okay, and, and I can go into great detail about how toxins cause cancer in the first place, but I'm going to leave that for another, another talk. Okay, but I want to talk about why it's really the, those organs that are, um, that are targeted. Because people don't think about that, you know, you just know, okay, oh my God, I have cancer. Why are those organs targeted a lot of times? Why are those in the top three, I should say, if you take out lung, okay? And by the way, um, people's bodies vary, right? They're going to vary um, in their ability to break down certain and, and eliminate certain toxins and pollutants due to genetic differences. Um, but one thing is true. One thing that is so true across the board is that organs that have a high cell turnover, so that cells re re reproduce very often, those organs will have a higher susceptibility to damage, okay, to damage. DNA damage is what we're talking about. Because DNA repair is so important, it's just as important as the DNA um, replication. So DNA replication will keep your body functioning, keep your cells reproducing, your entire body gets re, um, re, uh, regenerates in about seven years, your entire body. So right now at this moment, your cells are reproducing. That's just as important as if there is something that goes wrong during that cellular re uh, reproduction, then there's a whole mechanism in place to catch it, okay? And a lot of times, if there is toxic buildup, if there are pollutants in your environment, that replication can go fine. If there's a mess up, if there's a mutation, it's going to be harder for that DNA rep repair mechanism to come into place. That is the key. Okay. And I keep, I'm going to say that is the key on probably 10 things today. <laughs> but that's okay because um, everything is the key. <laughs> no, that is an important, important point I should make. Okay. So, we're talking about heavy metals here. We're talking about harmful chemicals, okay, radiation. I'm going to talk a little bit about radiation. Now, in the, and I'm going, to, I'm going to read you this here. In a 2013 study, so pretty recent, um, by Richardson et, et al., and he had a group that he worked with, it was reported that the mean number of days that it takes to turn over these different tissues, the colorectal, cervix, I'll put the cervix in there, and breast in particular, well, it's three and a half days for colorectal, 5.7 days for the cervix, and 8.8 .8 days for the breast. And that's on average for the breast because there are different types of tissues within the breast, or different types of cells. So that's a very short amount of time. So that's a very high turnover. Like the brain is like 4,000 days, if that. I mean, the, the brain rarely ever um, re reproduces itself, okay? And I don't know about you, but I want to protect my vital organs. <laughs> So that I can have children, so that I can have healthy children, so I can think and see 
have good eyesight, have good smell, when I'm 80, 90, 110 years old, okay? I want to protect every part and every cell in my body. I deserve that, and so do you. Yes, I'm making awkward silence, so you can think about that. I deserve every cell in my body because I am divine to be healthy and to be working optimally. And so do you. So one thing that I want to talk to you about is I read today that people may become allergic to a chemical after being exposed to it. Okay. They often may not react to low levels of chemicals. Um, may react, sorry, to very low levels of the chemical and have different or more severe effects than non-allergic people exposed to the same amount. So yeah, think about everybody's different, okay? Factors such as age, illness, diet, alcohol use, um, pregnancy, um, drug use, environmental, whatever, you know, living in certain environmental locations. I'll talk a little bit about that makes a person either sensitive or non-sensitive. And so what do you do? If you're in a situation, everybody's different. What, what can I tell you that you can do in your situation, your lifestyle? Because I don't know your lifestyle. So how in the world am I, be, am I able to give you advice? Well, there are some things that are fundamentally available for you that you can do, okay? First thing is know what the toxins are. Know what the pollutants are, okay? Know which ones you can avoid and which ones you can't avoid, <laughs> okay? Know which ones you can avoid and which ones you can't avoid. Um, so many people believe that, or they just assume that there are, since there are toxins everywhere, there's no need, and there are toxins everywhere, <laughs> But there's no need to have any kind of protection against them because they're just everywhere. You know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't worry about it. I'm going to get whatever anyway. Or, um, you know, they feel like they have no power against any toxins or any pollutants because they're everywhere. They're, that's exactly right. But that's the wrong, act, wrong, wrong attitude because you do have power against them. There are some things that you can completely remove from your life in your environment and your exposure. I worked for the EPA twice. I worked for the EPA for as a student contractor for two years on two different occasions. Once when I finished college and once after, I can't remember, um, after a few years. But I worked there twice and we worked on, we did studies on arsenic, we did studies on, um, uh, gosh, what is it called? The stuff that's in powder or in sunscreen that is white, I can't remember the name right now. But anyway, you know, the idea of having the, an environmental protection agency means that there are toxins everywhere. <laughs> so understand that that is true, yes. But you have the power in your home right now. Remember I said, what can you do right now to help protect yourself? That is what I'm talking about. Also, one of the main things too is that Toxins and pollutants are they bioaccumulate. Bioaccumulation just means that they start to accumulate in the body, get more and more and more. The more exposure you have, the more that you will have in your body to stick there, stay there. Your um, fat tissue is one of the biggest parts of holding on to toxins. So if you have a lot of visceral fat, which is fat in your gut, okay, and which I talk about in my course. There's often, if you're, if you're being exposed to a lot of toxins there that's gonna, or in your life, there's going to be a lot of toxins in that visceral fat close to your vital organs, close to your womb, close to your womb. Okay? Um, they often build up in the reproductive organs, even in the brain. Okay? Even the brain. Um, so that means, you know, Alzheimer's, autism, other disorders. And I'll, and I'll put some scientific uh, articles and journals about this. I'm going to type this up in, in, in my, for my blog as well. Let's talk a little bit about radiation because people don't talk about radiation enough. And ionizing radiation, um, you know, it's just not talked about enough. I, I want to just spend a little bit of time on it, okay? 
Now, ionizing radiation is a radiation that is normal process of these radioisotopes, so metals basically, radioisotopes, when they start to decay, they release energy, okay? One important point about this is that these are things like uranium, throntanum, okay, I can't remember all the different types, but that's biochemistry stuff. <laughs> Exposure to one rem, which is a unit measurement of um, decay, basically, which also takes into account the the, um, uh, the biological effect of what's happening with that decay. All right, one rem exposure to one rem, okay, equates to one in two hundred and fifty chance or risk of um, catching or getting or contracting a fatal cancer. Okay, a fatal cancer. That's just too much. All right? One in 250 people. If you're in a big city right now, just think about how many people that would be. So ionizing radiation, I'm going to give you a few things, a few, a list of ionizing radiation things that you can't avoid. They're just out there. You can't really avoid them. Um, and so the point I'm trying to make is that I'm not trying to tell you just to live a certain way. I'm trying to tell you something to be, to help you be empowered, okay? There's some things you cannot do, or you, not cannot do, I don't like saying that. There's some things that are, they're out of your immediate control, and then there's also things that you can do right now, that you can do next week, or you can continue to do throughout your life so that you can live happier and healthier. Uranium decay in the earth is a natural process that really you had no control over. <laughs> There's uranium in our earth right now that is decaying. I don't know all the details about it or how, you know, what's the um, half-life of uranium. There's different, there's different uranium um, numbers and different um, uh, sizes of the uranium, something that's just, it, ha it happens. And so we all have a baseline or basal exposure to uranium radiation. Nuclear power plants is something that, for me, for some people may argue this, that you do have control over that. But if you're living near a nuclear power plant that's been there for whatever many years, it's going to be kind of hard for you to just get up and move, right? Or the one one that came into your area and you, you know, can't move right now. You know, that's something that that is an issue. Now, ionizing radiation, which is a low, is, is a lower, uh, lower susceptibility and lower risk but still is basal and it's accumulating okay ionizing radiation that you can avoid okay um sorry i'm gonna say that's non a uh, non-ionizing ionizing radiation that you can avoid so these are the like the uranium exposure but these are things that you can avoid from some of the glow in the dark products Smoke detectors, I'm not sure if, I think some, most of the smoke detectors are probably okay now, but if you have a really old one, okay, think about that. Some of the ceramics, this is interesting because I remember like a, a long time ago, I will never forget this, I went to a family dollar and I was buying some, or I was looking for like some bowls, like some just, you know, some nice uh, bowls just to eat out of, okay? And I will never forget on the back of that bowl, it says something like warning um, this the paint in this in this bowl or whatever has such and such toxin um, can cause cancer whatever warning I think it even says something about lead exposure it was crazy do you know that most of the things that have the most toxins in them come from dollar stores come from Walmart made in China products toys Okay, I'm not talking about radiation now. Sorry, I'm getting off topic a little bit. But just to make that point that um, even some ceramics, if you have a really cheap set of stuff, get upgrade a little bit whenever you get your next paycheck. <laughs> Seriously, okay? Um, just to protect yourself, okay? Uh, smoking. Now, this is something that you may have not heard of before. Cigarette smokes. Cigarette smoke toxins and pollutants have had um, radioisotopes within them, 
okay? So the, t the tobacco is, is laced with chemicals, okay? Laced with chemicals, meaning there's tobacco, which is perfectly fine. I'm actually gonna be growing, I bought some tobacco seeds to be growing some tobacco in the spring. But um, lacing tobacco with uh, chemicals, not so much, okay? And some of those chemicals that they use are radioisotopes. X-ray, X-rays. Yes, you can refuse to get an x-ray at um, the doctor's office in the hospital or you know if you have a broken arm why do they need to x-ray it x-ray it really will they do 150 years ago or however before x-rays were around you don't need to have x-rays being um, of your of your teeth it's way too close to your brain we can talk all day about that so non-ionizing radiation that you can avoid. Non-ionizing is the lower dose, okay? Microwaves, I talked about this on another um, live on my Facebook page or on my personal page. Microwaves, okay? Television, computers, and cell phones. Non-ionizing radiation that accumulates over use over time. Now, some of you are probably ready to just log off and be like, I'm done with this. I'm not giving up my iPhone 7, whatever. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's not what I said. I that's not what I said. Um, Dr. Rashid Buttar says, once you are empowered with knowledge, you are no longer a victim. So that's what I want you to do right now. Be empowered with the knowledge. Make up your own mind, your own mind with this information. If you know that your cell phone is causing non-ionizing radiation, what are you going to do? I hope you do something. I'm not telling you exactly what to do. But I'm giving you this information so that you can make a change. What I do is not use it as often. What I do is keep it away from my vital organs. I don't put my cell phone right here. Simple things. Simple things with the knowledge that you're getting, okay, that you, that you have. Don't be a victim of this, of the ignorance. Second, second is to cleanse, okay? Now, I said I'm going to talk about detoxing. Finally getting into detoxing. Cleansing, 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 okay? Cleansing. Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> cleansing. Not just of pollutants, okay? Not just of non-organic foods, non-GMO foods. Not just cleansing from use of Glade plugins or fabric softener or ant bait, insect spray, pesticides, herbicides. And I'm naming these things because these are the toxins that we're using most often in our homes. And these are the things that cause the most allergies. Did you know that? So many people think that allergies come from cats and dogs and rodents or um, even cockroach. People think that, that, that they're allergic to cockroaches and stuff like that. It's true. I'm not saying it's not. But how often are you exposed to rats? Unless you live in a really rat infested area, how often are you exposed to rats to where your system and your body is very extremely sensitive to that and will make you break out as much as you do break out? Because I know a lot of people do break out. I used to be that way too. Okay, I used to be that way too. Um, most of the allergies are coming from the chemicals that are in our home that we use for cleaning products that we use to make our house smell good. Why? I don't know why you need your house to smell good, but... Um, allergies are basically a sign of distress in your, in your body, in your system. Unhappy sign, okay? Nobody ever questions what's in a Glade plug-in or what's in the Febreze, but they question what I make my lip balm out of <laughs> or what I make some cream that, that, that I made for my skin because, you know, I only want the best for myself and for my, my family and, and for you, but you'll question that, but not question what's in the um, Glade plugin. I'm just trying, I'm just opening up your mind to things, okay? Anyway, um, removing these things is, 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 is key. <laughs> if you don't take anything else from this talk right now, okay, and I'm about to wrap it up here, anything else, 
If you don't take any of this stuff that I'm saying seriously, doesn't matter, okay? Please just take this information. The number one toxic pollutant um, disease causing, disease causing contaminant of all, what is it? Can you guess? <laughs> Negative emotions. The worst contaminant of all over mercury, over lead, over arsenic is the worst contaminant of all. Why? Because we all expose ourselves daily too much to negative emotions, negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative um, foresight within our lives and with our state of mind right now. So that is the most important thing and I want you to take away from here. So negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative emotions, these thoughts become our habits, these thoughts become, become our reality, these thoughts become repetitive, things that we teach to our children, our loved ones. Just think, you probably have a lot of the same beliefs and a lot of the same behavior within your mind as your mother and she does as her mother. And I'm talking women now because that's, that's who I hope is listening here. These negative thoughts are very sneaky. Just like cancer cells are very sneaky little things, negative thoughts are very sneaky too. You don't realize you're having them unless you're very mindful, which is something that I teach, mindfulness. You don't realize you're having them. And so and somebody says something to you about it and you're like, you catch yourself. You think about it for a second, right? But then you get defensive sometimes. So they're very sneaky. And um, some of these thoughts can be defeat, worry, fear, anger. Um, defeated mindset is, is that something that is so important, having a defeated mindset. Turning that around will change your life. Now, if you don't believe me, you think I'm just kidding, <laughs> check out Dr. Emoto's water study. Emoto, E-M-O-T-O, -O, Dr. Emoto's water study. Now, I'm not going to talk about it here. If you're not familiar with it, look it up. Find out what he's talking about because it's so true and so amazing, okay? Remember, um, when you do look it up, remember that our bodies are actually 98% water. Just remember that. As you watch his videos, as you see what he's done, as you see the scientific proof, not just something he did in his backyard, which is still relevant anyway, but scientific proof, peer-reviewed information that what he did and what he proved about negative thoughts and negative behavior, negative um, emotions, and then remember that when you think about your body being made up of 75% water. Now, this information is what I present and talk about in my Holistic Life course for women. It's called the Beauty and Bloom Holistic Life course to tap into your core and rediscover your feminine energy. <laughs> now, that is a, um, a mouthful, right? But it's so, the reason why I came up with that name is, and you'll see, if you decide to take my course, you will see why I came up with that name, okay? Um, because what we're talking about in the course is our reproductive organs. Understand everything that I just said today. Understanding how your body works so that it can, so that you can heal yourself. And understanding that the core, the reproductive and the digestive system, which tap into your brain, okay? But your core is so vital, so important in keeping it healthy, keeping it protected. So that you can grow a baby in that womb if you have it already and if you want to. <laughs> That's just one example of why. There's millions, right? But still. So you can absorb nutrients. So you can assimilate those nutrients for your entire body. So you can have eyesight without wearing glasses. So you can have beautiful long hair, thick nails, whatever you desire. It can come forth by tapping into your core, the energy that is there, the, the power that is there, the nutrients that can be absorbed there. And so having that strength is amazing and powerful. Okay, and that's what I teach in the Holistic Life course. Um, and so if you want to check it out, um, the link is below. <laughs> I think, I don't actually know where it is on the Facebook Live, but if you're watching on Facebook Live, 
find the link with this video. If you're watching this on my um, on my blog, the link is on the page, okay? <laughs> to learn more about the Holistic Life course. It's launching on um, Monday, I'm so excited, October 24th. I'm gonna have a webinar on the 25th to talk more about um, everything with you. Go into more detail, of course. And, you know, really what I want to do with this course is to teach people how to heal themselves, teach people how to protect themselves, and let them grow and bloom into a goddess, basically, okay? And I won't give everything away that's going to be in the course. Um, there's so much there. Um, check out the link and you'll see um, some of what's there. And I'm adding to it every single month, okay? Giving you more and more tools to be able to live a holistic life mind, body, and spirit, and core. I'm going to throw in that fourth one there because that is so key. On Wednesday, I'm going to be back on my page here talking with you more about detoxing specifically and tapping into understanding what is going on with your particular body. That's one of the things that one of my, my clients actually said is that she, I helped her to, to know and figure out how her body actually works to, to be in tune with it more. And so I'm going to talk more about that. But I want to leave this with you. Know that you are powerful. Know that you have the rights and choices and a mind of your own, okay, to have this abundant, healthy, happy, harmonious life. I don't say that just to be rhyming and saying all ages. That's what I want for you. And that's what I know you can have. Um, and it doesn't take a lot of work doesn't take a lot of work and if you need someone to hold your hand I'm here um, instead of throwing out your cell phone and all of that make sure you know that's not what I want you to do so if you think that way we should talk in more detail <laughs> so join me on Wednesday I'm gonna sign off here Wednesday I'll be back same time same place remember to share this broadcast with someone um, if you think it's too long you have a short attention attention span <laughs> which I talked about today on my personal page um, the average attention span is only seven seconds, I think, or five seconds for people, and for a goldfish is nine seconds. So if you have a, a short attention span, span, I understand things have gotten really bad now. Um, you know, if you want me to take out little chunks of this and, and give it to you, hey, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. So I'm going to sign off here. I'm not sure who popped on. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful, amazing Monday. Um, peace, love, happiness, and harmony to you. I'm Jennifer Hutchison Taylor of yourbeautyandbloom.com. Peace.